All right, so this is gonna be a super super quick video. I hope I can keep it under 10 minutes long But nonetheless, uh the rift I have been very very disappointed about the rifts as of late uh, the first one they completely blew it out of the water um Second one was okay. Third one was trash. I Haven't looked at this one, but I've been doing um I've been doing the challenges on like uh just that uh, pop up in the lobby so what i would like to do is i'd like to look at the rift with you okay that was loud so let's see uh a blight skin i don't like blight um i actually just don't like the skin i don't know what it is about it but something feels weird uh, Oryx cells to be expected. We got a really, really lame charm. Uh, what is this, a weapon? Yeah, hardwood weapon, whatever. We don't need more trapper weapons. They all look the same. This is kind of a cool one, but you're not going to be able to tell in game what it is. Oryx cells. Point of the Seago, again. The charms are cool, but they just don't translate well uh let's see oh this is the plague thing she's like half infected that's cool all right this is claudette i think okay i that's okay she looks like she's trying to hide from paparazzi all right and jane did they do anything to her <laughs> uh again boring orc cell yay we get partial orc cells back they make it seem like it's such a huge i bet you if i do the math it's still you lose cells by doing um this okay if you're a left for dead fan uh great charm i'm not a huge left for dead uh fan but if i is this the first gun that you can bring into a game of Dead by Daylight? Because it's very possible it's the first, it's the first gun that have seen. Nonetheless, uh, what is this? That's a... Oh! It's just a golden globe that that one dude never gets. Okay. Orc cells are bad. That's just ugly. Um... This is actually really cool. I like this, except for the fact that Crypt TV just came out for her and it beats it by a mile. So it's not really worth it. I think that if you want specifically Huntress Cosmetics, just invest in the Crypt TV. Let's see what's next. Uh, uh, again, a charm. What, is, what part is this? Bottom. This could be pretty good. It's not bad. Another charm. I'm sorry. Charms just don't excite me. I used to love charms. I love the idea of charms, except when you get in game, it's just worth. It. I'll t I'll show you why I dislike it in a moment. Um, what even is that? How are you supposed to tell what that is? I know what it is like here, but how are you supposed to tell what that is? Hey, okay, what is this? Another dog tags thing. This is okay, but I'm kind of confused with the difference between this is just from off the top of my head and the. Mad Mac. Let's see. What now this is a cool trapper. This is a very, very cool. Say so myself. You like trapper and you like huntress. So far, this is a pretty good pass. This is a very fun skin tab. What's this? Okay, also great. Claudette does not have many good pants. Great pants. For uh, this is the Huntress outfit, I believe. Which is free, mind you. Um, and it's very nice. It's very pretty. Um, Huntress recipe, respite. This light garb is not meant for long periods in large wilderness. Curl up and take refuge from the cold winds and for the fireplace. Look, children, choice for you, buyer. Now... I don't know if I'm being racist, but for some reason, I feel like that fan has like a deeper, like either religion or cultural reason behind and not being used in that way. But I could be completely wrong, so I don't want to say anything. 
What are these pants? Oh, these are the bill pants. The bill pants that are actually really good. Okay, so I would buy this pass uh, for the Trapper, the Huntress, and Bills. Well, all of them are very well. Jeff is garbage. Uh, Jane, they basically just recolored her. What's this weapon? Spirit? What's this? Okay, it literally just looks like the same. This? Okay, this is a cool top for uh, Claudette. The problem is that I wish that it was a little bit of a darker tone because, you know, it's it's a stealthy-ish game. But at the same time, it's a really, really nice shirt. I like it a lot. I, I really like it. I wish I could tell what the back was. It looks like headphones, which is kind of weird. Uh, Deathslinger again. Does anybody care? What is this, a charm? It is a charm. This way is it? Yeah. This, is this a killer charm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one would show up pretty well on the hook. What's this? Uh... Bringing freedom home, is this a killer charm as well? No, it's a character charm. You should be able to tell what this is too. That's not too bad, but it's ugly. There's another charm. It basically looks like a piece of crap. It, it literally looks like a turd that comes out of you after four days and is turtling up in you. And then it finally comes out and you realize that it made like a little crying noise. That's basically what the... Uh, Oryx Cells, uh, I could have sworn we already had this. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I thought we already had the uh, back. Whatever. Oryx Cells, Oryx Cells, Ugly Charm, and a Charm. Now, see, they're missing out on a huge opportunity, yeah? Because they have an opportunity of making it so the end of the rifts are really good but they keep failing at the like page eight is just boring let's look at page nine you get the death slinger hat which is good for people that like death slinger i don't want to bash you but your opinion's wrong is this a charm oh it's a weapon it's a weapon for her which is a very nice weapon and this is for bill right yeah, see, that's a really, really cool plasma charm. Blood Moon, very, very cool charm. Usually, I don't give them credit for charms, but that's a cool charm. Is this the uh, Jeff? Yeah, see. All right, so I we go anyway. I don't want to make this 10 minutes long. The reason why I'm not a huge fan of charms is because of one specific it's an absolutely beautiful charm, but you cannot tell for the life of you what it even is in game. And I feel like it's so underappreciated because nobody talks about it. It has to be higher than green. Right. Oh, it's this one. Look, it looks like a, a broken claw, but if you if you zoom in, look at all the detail they have in there. They have the snow. They've got the um the building from I forget the name of the map, but they've got the tree and stuff like that. But the building's broken, the globe is broken. But you put it on, it looks like you have a piece of crap hanging from you. It's so depressing. It um. Also, just really quick, uh, Jeff, what is the difference between his skin? Oh, I, I hate Jeff. We're, we're... Okay, so what's the difference between this and the one that we just saw? In this... Is it just a recolor? Yeah, wait, it has to be a recolor. It has this thing again. Unless this is in the shop. Okay, yellow face. No, it's a... Anyways, guys, um, if you are looking to buy the pass, I would recommend it um, if you have the extra funds. You are going to get the majority of the Oryx Cells back. And one, one quick moment. I, I had to pause the recording really quick here. Um, I just want to make it clear one thing very clear before you get into this. Okay.
before you buy the pass. The pass is 1,000 or Excel. There is nothing wrong. It is not a steal whatsoever. However, most games do the exact same thing where they offer a battle pass, but they offer just a little bit so that you kind of keep coming with a little extra Oryx cells at your disposal. Unfortunately, unless my math is wrong, you either, you make about 950 Oryx cells back, meaning you will have to keep upping every time it comes or just, you know, just don't get the next one. Um, I think that's a huge missed opportunity. I understand that there's money that gets involved with, uh, art design but the truth of the matter is i don't know if the art design is fully worth the price and i don't mean it's expensive but i mean the fact that there's a lot of recolors mixed into these battle passes and not to mention it requires a lot of grind and it's as if when it, when a company makes a battle pass in which you do not earn the currency for the next battle pass again there lays a problem of is your time worth it to them or are they just trying to make it seem like you should be doing it? Now, here's the thing. It comes in waves. Do not feel pressured to finish it all. I want to show you right now. Last thing, I swear. Uh, select challenge, right? The rift or compendium. Um, I did not complete this. Uh, did I complete this? I almost completed this. Wow, I, I almost completed that too. Um, it's just... Some of these I can't quite finish because I don't want to. <laughs> I guess I should finish these ones up. The only thing you lose, you still gain all the blood points on the way. Uh, because each one of these challenges will give you blood points and that's for free to play too But the only thing that you're missing out on in the end is the charm and you know what I think about charm You know what I think about the charms just Use your best judgment. Do you have the extra? Oryx cells laying around that you think you're gonna be playing for a while then go ahead and get it but they come out with a lot of good skins as well. If you're a Bill fan, 100%. If you're a Hunters fan, it's 50%. If you're a Trapper fan, 100%. Otherwise, this might be a pass that's worth, uh, you know, skipping. Either way, guys, I no matter what time zone you are, no matter what you are doing on this wonderful day, I love you, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week. Stay safe with COVID. And I'll see you next time.